Tom, on this next question. Let's do a one minute answer on this. As you consider competing priorities for your support and focus, where does mental health care fall? Mental health care is part of the social safety net program that the state uh, is obligated under the Constitution, and, and I believe by um, the morals, the mores of, of most of us to, uh, to fund. That also means that we can't, I, we can't single out mental health that we're going to fund them at the expense of some other group, be they children with autism, uh, you know, anyone else that has special needs. I guess I come back to there's a package of social services, there's a package of education opportunities, and those are the things that we must fund. Those are the things that we you know, stayed in the legislative session and fought over the tax increase on. Yeah. And those are hard votes. Um, do you cut taxes? Do you increase spending? I think what we need to do is focus on what the needs are and then fund those needs. All right, Linda. Um, I would say that mental health should be included with other types of health and not be excluded from uh, those types of coverage. Um, most people in their lifetime will experience some type of mental health issue, whether that be a circumstantial issue or whether that be a long-term issue. Uh, but funding of mental health needs to be looked at as any other kind of, of health condition. Um, I know that in our public schools that we've been cut over uh, the past decade, we've had to cut our mental health providers. We've had to cut our social service workers. We've had to cut our counselors. Those are important services for uh, students and children and helping them overcome circumstantial situations or long-term crisis. One thing we can do in the state legislature is restore adequate funding to our public schools to assist with this mental health issue. Thank you, Tony. It's always interesting to me that we separate mental health from, from other areas of health because we like to think about mental health as, as somebody else's issue, somebody else's problem. The fact is that everybody in this room is touched by mental health issues at some point in time. If you're talking about uh, you know, bipolar depression, uh, uh, we uh, have evidence that there are very high rates, 60 or 70 percent of the population at some point in time will experience some level of bipolar depression. They may not get treatment for it, but they experience the, the disease that we would talk about in psychological circles. This is an issue that is a health-related issue. I, you know, I think, if, I, I, Linda, I think had it right. If we're, gonna, if we're gonna take care of people's physical health, I think mental health should be lumped in there as well. And so I don't see a distinction here. Part of it's a professional bias from my point of view, but part of it is just doing the right thing and, and helping our neighbors who are suffering from uh, these disorders. Okay, let's follow up with the 